First is the skull of a bison, which roamed the Siberian tundra 40,000 years ago. He was shot by a bullet. The proof is the hole. Ballistics experts have established that it could only have been pierced by a high-speed projectile, and that the beast was alive when killed, a shot fired 40,000 years ago. Neanderthals were sturdy individuals with powerful muscles, measuring around 160 centimeters and weighing 75 kilos. They were not weak and feeble. Their brains were as large as ours, and they walked just like we do. A role in the human evolution of Neanderthals, vital for lighting, essential for keeping warm, used for cooking meat, and a formidable tool for keeping predators at bay. Neanderthals certainly knew how to make fires. The striations left on some of the stone tools bear out this technique. Neanderthals mastered fire better than any species before them. And Neanderthals lived 40,000 years ago. And crude oil is very flammable. So I'm willing to bet, so since they knew how to make fire and were very intelligent, I'm willing to bet that they had an idea of combustion and made primitive guns, such as something like a potato gun. And they weakened the animal to the point where it couldn't necessarily run or defend itself and then went up and just put a projectile right through its head. So if they found crude oil seeping out of the ground, I'm sure they wanted to experiment with it no different than we do. And the cubic centimeters of a Neanderthal's brain was actually larger than ours. So I'm willing to bet that history just repeats itself. Humans have been doing the same stuff for thousands of years. Yeah. This, all people outside of Africa have a small portion of Neanderthal DNA floating around in our genome. This really makes us question how far the Neanderthals have really become extinct. We can clearly say that they disappeared as a, a living, breathing species, but the fact that their genes uh, survive inside of us really poses some quite interesting questions about what extinction does and does not mean. So like I was saying in these videos where they have animals just popping into existence and they claim it evolved, I'm not saying evolution doesn't exist, but I'm saying they got adaptation and evolution completely mixed up and they got animals popping into existence from nowhere and evolving in circles, which quite frankly is impossible. So they create grandfather paradoxes. If the genes live on, then it didn't go extinct. It just got bred out or changed or adapted. Adaptation is when an animal remains largely the same animal, just different, different variations. Evolution is a completely different species altogether.